Hello, um, I'm in a proper film studio at the moment. I'm in front of one of them green screens. A friend of mine's kindly donated the time and um, he's going to edit this and he'll put up some bits and bobs behind me, <coughs> excuse me, to help explain what I'm on about and I will need help. I've never done this before, nothing like this before. I've got nothing prepared and I've got about 10 minutes to do it in. So please bear with me if I ramble, but anyway, so to the point. 1970s, 1980s, millions of people worldwide were infected through contaminated blood and blood products. The huge pharmaceutical companies that done this, they, well they knew what they were doing. Uh, obviously they said they never, but they did. It was after the AIDS scare. So, obviously they knew people were getting contaminated through black blood, but they carried on regardless. They were buying what they call skid row blood. Skid row blood explains itself. And they were selling this blood to anyone and everyone they could. And unfortunately, the NHS ended up with a load of it. Now, there's thousands of people in this country right now, at this moment, really suffering. Thousands already dead. Excuse me, terrible, terrible thing. Little babies, little babies giving HIV, dying of AIDS. Oh dear, sorry, I get a bit emotional. But anyway, um, so these people, they're, they're fighting for compensation. The media will tell you they're being compensated. They haven't. They haven't at all. Well, and they will get compensated and they deserve it because no money can pay for what these people have suffered. But it's the NHS that will foot the bill, not the huge corporations. No. I, I had it. I'm infected. I got it, through, I got it in America. Now, to, to get any compensation, I'd have to take them to court. And you know what's happened there. But anyway, so the NHS are going to end up with this bill. You, the taxpayer. The huge corporations won't pay a penny, but here's the rub. They're the very corporations that will come in and steal the NHS. It's happening right now, behind closed doors, behind your backs. T-tip. If, if you haven't heard of it, please check it out. This lot here behind me are doing it. And uh, could you stick up some pictures of Baltimore and Detroit? I was in America when they signed a thing called NAFTA, the North American Free Trade Agreement. And T-tip, Transatlantic Trade Investments, they, they love fancy titles. Basic English, me and you, it's theft. And that, what it brought to Detroit and the working class of America, is what it will bring to us and our NHS. And the very companies who infected me and millions like me will own the NHS. It's got to be stopped. I've been down to, um, I've been down to the local big issue, local shelter, food banks and soup kitchens. Um, we've got some terrible stories to tell. We've got to feature them. We've got to battle this, what is it, poverty porn, benefit streets, all that. We've got to show what's happening to real honest working class people. I've got one lad, I've got to go to London to interview him. He opens a food bank. They prosecuted him. Prosecuted him for the feeding of poor people. Yeah, so anyway, well, we've got these stories, the haemophiliacs and what have you. But we need some answers too, and I've got two men, one definitely, and one hopefully. Um, these gentlemen are prepared to come on film and tell the story, and it needs to get out there. It's, I'm not privy to something new, it's all over the internet. Uh, they've took these, they've got proof, actual positive proof, forensic proof of these lot. This shall be on me, robbing billions. They took it to the media, they took it to... They're all the financial authorities, legal authorities, they've been everywhere. Brave men. They buried the story. It's a wonder they never buried them. So we've got them. Now we've got to get that story out to people. And we need some hope. There's got to be hope. There's always got to be hope. Now, thousands of us banded together. It's one of the things I'm going to have to go up to Liverpool. Thousands of us banded together and we beat the banks. We took the banks on and we beat them. And we run the asset strippers out of town. I'm sure them methods, what we used, will use to, we can use them to stop T-tip too. Um, I'd better tell you, <laughs> better tell you what I'm after, haven't I? Um, I've never done nothing like this. I've been told it would take about three thousand pounds to make this film. I don't know. I, I'll, I'll do this on a shoestring. I'll do it on my hands and knees if I need to. Um, but if you send me some money, I'll get it done a whole lot quicker. And what I will guarantee you, I'll account for every single penny I receive, and every single penny of that will go on this film. 
and anything that's left over, I've already got it in Max. I met a young lady down south running a soup kitchen, and um, yeah, she's terrified. She's terrified they're going to close it down. They will. They close the homeless shelter in town. They're running them people out. What are they supposed to do? What are they supposed to eat? Anyway, this poor girl, she wouldn't speak on film, she's terrified, but she's doing a grand, grand thing, her and the friends from the church, young, five young kids, very impressed with them, and anything left over, I intend to give to them. So please, if you can, support us, help us to get this out. Um, I just hope you can support yourself at the moment, but if you can, help, and thank you for your time, I'm getting that one, I'm going, alright, alright, I'm going to have to go, oh yeah, one last thing, please, mate. There'll be a couple of, um, addresses up behind me after this now if you could please visit the website and visit the youtube channel i'll explain myself a bit more clearly um uh, yeah and if you can help us help us and if not thank you for your time good luck to you and uh, yeah that's about it thank you all right